Hi, I'm Katie and welcome to episode 10 of MyDenmarkTV.com. We enjoyed Odense so much last week, we're back for another look. This week we're going to delve deeper into the stories behind Hans Christian Andersen. We're going to teach you how to bike and we're also going to check out the local university. But first... Did you know that the body of Denmark's patron saint, King Canute, still lies on view in Odense Cathedral to this day? He was an ambitious king from the 11th century who tried to take over Norman England, but he and his followers died in a massacre here in Odense in 1086. Seeing as we're in Denmark's best cycle city, I thought I'd borrow a bike from a friend and get back out on the road. Now, I remember when I came to Denmark, it had been many years since I'd been on a bike, but luckily enough, I had some Danish friends who helped me remember the rules of the road. So, why don't you join me once I get my helmet on and we can take off and check out some of the cycling things to do around Odense. Remember, the same way the Danes walk and drive on the right, so do cyclists. So when you're in the cycle path, stick to the right so people can overtake. It's not just important, it's also polite. Hand signals are another important part of cycling in Denmark. If you're turning right, stick your right arm out. When stopping, raise your hand. If you do need to turn left to cross traffic, remember you're not allowed to cycle in traffic. Cross the first junction, stop, and wait for green before crossing the road. Sometimes you will have cycle-only traffic lights to obey as well. Remember, it's against the law to actually cycle on pedestrian crosswalks, so often you will have to walk your bike across. Remember that while not mandatory, it is recommended to wear a helmet because no matter how safe you are, accidents can happen. Odense is known as the birthplace of Hans Christian Andersen, the writer behind some of Denmark's most famous fairy tales like The Little Mermaid, The Emperor's New Clothes and The Ugly Duckling. Evidence of his work can be seen all over the city, not only in the museums, but also out on the streets, such as the statue of the famous man himself, depicting his almost life-size big nose and big hands that he was very self-conscious about and which is why he referred to himself jokingly as the ugly duckling. You can also see symbols of his paper cuttings all around the city as a symbol of the city and even though the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen might be the most famous symbol of Denmark, you can still feel the spirit of Jose Andersen here in his hometown of Odense. <laughs> While we're in Odense, I thought I'd pop down to see the University of Denmark, which is in this fabulous location on the outskirts of town. If we're lucky, we might even see some deer. The University of Southern Denmark, or SDU, has lots of campus locations across Jutland, Zealand and Fjuln, but the main one is still here in Odense. Now, it's obviously a very popular choice because there's more than 12,000 students studying here. And don't worry, for those international students looking to come here, they offer dozens of programmes, both at master's and bachelor level, to study through English. It's clearly a very popular choice. And the university recently announced that applications from foreign students had increased a whopping 42% since 2007 for their English language programmes. Popular courses included economics and IT, and European studies. So check out their website for more details if you're thinking about studying here. It's hard not to come to Odense and find something going on that is to do with the big man himself, Hans Christian Andersen. You can come visit his childhood home or check out the museum like we have today, which houses a collection of his most famous works. It's outside this museum that every summer local actors and children take part in the H.C. Anderson Parade, which is famous throughout the whole country. They reenact and sing along to some of his most famous fairy tales like The Ugly Duckling and The Little Mermaid. Children afterwards can come and meet some of the cast and even though most of it's in Danish, I think you can still get the message and enjoy the fun and excitement of the day. Thanks for joining us this week. I hope you enjoyed Odense as much as we did. Come again next week when we'll be looking at the library system in Denmark and showing you how to check out books, especially in your own language. Until then, please feel free to check out our website, mydenmarktv.com, where you can subscribe to the show, share episodes with your friends, and leave us feedback. And we always love to hear from you. So until next time, take care. Bye.
<laughs> Stop parking the limelight, pigeon. 